Hey, I hope you're doing well today. I'm Bill DeWeese, voiceover talent and voiceover career coach. And today I want to talk about why the traditional voiceover business model does not work. Uh, last night I was watching a TV special uh, on the Golf Channel. I'd recorded it earlier. I'm a big golf fan, and, and they recorded a series on the great golfer Ben Hogan, who many regard, he's widely regarded as, as one of the greatest golfers, some believe the greatest golfer of all time. But they talked about a specific point early on in his life when he decided to make the shift from looking at golf as a game and he looked at it as a business and he approached it and he executed it as a business. And when he did, he became extremely successful uh, in his quest to be, you know, the greatest golfer in the world. And again, today, many people believe he, he was the greatest that ever lived. It's certainly one of the greatest that's ever played the game. So it got me thinking about voiceover, and it's, this is not a new thought. I've talked about it. I think about it a lot, but I'm not sure that, um, I don't know that you've heard the message or for a lot of people that it's kind of penetrated the consciousness because when we're in a way of thinking, sometimes it takes a while. We have to hear it repeatedly before it finally clicks and we get it or at least get how it, what it means for us and how we should approach it. So the traditional voiceover business model is this, and tell me if this does this sound familiar to you? Is this a familiar story? So what you do is you get some coaching, then you get a demo produced, then you go out and shop for an agent and you get an agent or maybe even multiple agents. And then you begin to audition for jobs. And then weeks, months, maybe years, hundreds, maybe thousands of auditions go by and you wonder why you're not working, or at least why you're not working regularly. Now, that being said, there are certainly a few people in that business model who have succeeded and who do succeed today. I'm not saying there aren't, but I'm saying it's a very, very small percentage, most of who live out in the Los Angeles area. Um, so if this is working for you, then please, by all means, disregard this video and move on to the next one. But for the vast majority of talent out there, this model does not work. Why is that? Well, for one thing, and if you've gone through this process before, uh, you know, you, you understand that, well, at least I remember when I first got signed to an agent, I thought, oh, well, this is it. Well, here I am 12 years later after that first signing. I've never booked a job through that agent. I've booked through other agents, you know, on occasion. But the thought that this is, this is it, this is voiceover nirvana, you have arrived, it just isn't so. It just doesn't work that way. Because oftentimes what you'll find, especially if you have multiple agents, you may have 10 agents, and what you'll find is oftentimes the same audition will come to six, seven, maybe all 10 agents. So when you are auditioning for a job, it's usually not just you and a handful of people. It's you and hundreds, maybe thousands of others across the country auditioning for the same job. Now, certainly with uh, many agencies, you're going to get regional opportunities where the pool of talent is going to be smaller. But I cannot tell you how many times I have seen the same audition come through multiple, many agents, I've, because I've got a lot of agents all over the world. And it's, it's a bit disheartening because again, uh, it's the best of the best all competing for this, you know, for this one job. The other problem with this model is that by and large, most of the work that comes through agencies is commercial. Not all, by any means. But I would say, I think it's fair to say that most. But if you look at the marketplace, most of the work in the market uh, out there is not, is not, forgive me, that is uh, my daughter and my assistant trying to talk to me. And I'll get to her in just a moment. Um, it's not commercial. I mean, it's, uh, you will get mostly commercial auditions, but what you'll find is that most of the work out there is actually corporate in nature. And so if you're only working through agencies, you are missing the vast majority of work that's out there. And especially with the new platforms that are available, it's so much easier. The technology allows clients to go directly to, uh, you know, to voiceover talent. So you're just missing out on a lot of opportunities. So if you feel like you are on the proverbial voiceover hamster treadmill and you keep doing the same thing over and over and somebody tells you, well, you just got to, you got to keep getting coaching and you just got to get better. And someday your ship will come in. You know what? That's crazy. That is, that's just, that's insanity. Repeating the same thing over and expecting different results. You need a new plan, a new business model. 
And so I want to invite you to check out BillDeweeseLive.com. I've put that URL in the description below so you can go check it out. And what you'll find there is there's a video, it's a free video, that will introduce you and show you the basic concepts that you need to understand and execute to be successful in voiceover. And also an introduction into my comprehensive voiceover blueprint training program if you feel like you want to be in a more formal uh, coaching and mentoring setting. But check it out and just remember that usually the gold ticket does not lie you know, just on the other side of working with an agency. It's an understanding how to treat voiceover like a business and how to be able to do your own marketing and find your own clients. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and share, and we'll talk soon.